Hello, let's answer this problem. Sample problem 2 slash 3. A 500 force, Newton force F, this one, is applied to the vertical pole as shown. Number 1, write F in terms of the unit vector I and J and identify both its vector and scalar components. Number 2, determine the scalar component of force vector f along x prime and y prime so this is x prime and this is y prime number three determine the scalar component of f along x so this is x and y ah wait this is y axis so let's begin with the number one okay now, it is wise to draw clearly the coordinate system or the, the force. So you have here the Y axis and you have the X axis. So you have here Y and this is X and if you want can use the protractor to determine the angle so this is 10 20 30 so that's the one you have here this is the f 500 newton okay now for number one we're going to identify the unit vector i and j. Okay, to find it, or let's make it this a vector notation. And to make that into vector notation, it's like this. So you have f, it means this is a vector that is fx i plus fyj. So that should be the vector notation it means we're going to find the component of this one along x and along, along y to find for the component all you need to do is from x uh, parallel get, create a parallel line until this one okay and from y create a parallel line until the head okay and this one is the fx and this one is the fy okay so we identify what is fx what is fy we also know that this is 30 degrees given as given in the drawing so again we're going to identify fx and this the magnitude of this one is the same as this and as you notice if you rotate this one okay that means it's opposite if that is opposite we will use sine okay so fx is that is sine so you have f sine 30 so fx is you have f that is 500 sine 30 and your fx is 250 so this one is the scalar component of uh, f along x axis okay now to find fy this one this is adjacent so we will use the uh, cosine so take note balik tad na hindi ibig sabihin na y i sine okay if you have here y so this is now adjacent so we will be using cosine so fy is 500 cosine 30 
so f y would be uh, four. What's that? Four three three point zero one two uh, newton. Now, since it's going down, it should be negative. So that is the scalar component. Okay. To make it vector component, all you need to do is to put it here or fxi is actually 250i. So this is the vector component along x. Then you have fyi, so negative 433, don't forget the sign, 012j. So, if you combine it, okay, it will become 250i minus 433.012j. So, this is the vector notation. Okay. What's next? Number 2. Number 2. Okay. Uh, what's the number two again? Determine the scalar component of f along x prime. So this is the x prime and this is the y prime. So it would be good that you will draw the axis. Uh, leave this one. So first I will just, uh, for reference, I will draw the x and y axis. Okay, just for reference, this is y and this is x. Then, this is the y prime that is 30 degrees from x. So, I will use my protractor that is 30 degrees approximately here. Okay, so this is my uh, new axis that is, again, that is y prime okay and the other one it's same axis with f that is 30 degrees so basically if that is 30 degrees this one should also be 90 degrees so this is x prime so let's make this color green and this is color green Okay. Kapalan na lang natin para mas maganda. Para kitang kita and don't bother uh, about the This is the new axis. Okay? Now. It says there uh, x prime and y prime and the force F is this one along the X prime. So if you want, you can rotate this one and it's like this. So it's the same, but if you notice, it's along, we change that one to X prime. I just rotated it. Okay. So, let's go back to the original position. So, it means, okay, that, let's go back to the question. Scalar component. Okay. Scalar component, no need to, for the uh, vector component. So, you have, uh, if you have that, along, along y, if you notice along y, you don't have any component along y prime. You only have component along x. So, kanyan yan. Ito lang. So, it means that for fy prime, that is 0. Because you don't have component. For xy prime, actually that is f, that is 500 newton. So, ganun lang naman siya. As easy as that. No need for, kasi wala naman siya angle. Okay? 
Now, number three. Number three is uh, more exciting. Okay. Because in here, in terms of x, this is x and y prime. So, this is x. Okay. Y prime is, let's start here. Y prime is here. So, that is uh, 30 degrees. Your axis now is oblique. It's not anymore 90 degrees. Okay. So, again, this is your uh, axis. Axis. Okay. So, this is x and this is y prime. So, originally you have here the y. That I will just draw for reference point for the force. And that is 1, 2, 3 here. And the force f it's here okay now as a question again scalar component of f along x and y prime to get the component okay to get the component remember the parallelogram Okay, so remember that, not the perpendicular. Uh, for the rectangular component, it's okay that you have a uh, 90 degrees perpendicular, but oh, it's not that. To get the component, again, parallelogram. So, yung ginawa natin kanina, I have v y prime. I go to the tail or head rather should be parallel here okay it's like that I'll create this one then I go to the X go to the head it should be parallel then I create this uh, parallel line okay now the component should be this Ah, wait, kulang. Iabot natin hanggang doon. The X component is this one. Tandaan yan. This is FX. And the Y prime, take note, Y prime, not Y. Because this is Y. Y prime component is this. Okay. This is FY prime okay yeah now uh -huh. how to get this one and this you must have uh, actually this one this fy is the same land as this so you can use the sign law but as I imagine, if this is 30 degrees, and this is 30 degrees, this is 60, right? And this is also 60. And this one is the same as here. This is 30. It means this is 90. So that is a right triangle. If that is a right triangle, I can get the this one and this. Because this is given, and I have the angle here. And actually, this is also 30 degrees. Okay? So, as easy as that, so you can find the... Uh, okay. Uh, what is first? You have the F. Anong gusto nyo? 60. Ano bang mauna? So, let's compute for the F. Kapag meron to, ah, cosine. Now, Let's see. 
uh, or you have here ah okay nalito din ako this is opposite of this 60 and this is the adjacent if you have opposite and adjacent side use tangent so tangent 60 is opposite fy prime and you have f f is given so fy prime is actually uh, 500 tangent 60 so fy prime is 866.0254 so that is the scalar component along y prime okay now to get the fx so okay na yon anong gagawin natin you could actually use cosine cosine 60 cosine this is cosine this is adjacent this is hypotenuse adjacent this is f hypotenuse is fx okay now, take note it could be confusing because some uh, you are sure or in your if you memorize the equation sometimes ito nasa taas dapat pero no i'm repairing to the drawing so remember that you must have a clear drawing okay so the hypotenuse is this one take note of that and this f is the adjacent so this is adjacent because so ka ka is like that this is hypotenuse so you have here fx is 500 over cosine 60 so fx is uh, 1000 newton don't forget the units so that's the answer for number three okay see you next time